On Christmas evening of 1776, George Washington and his troops made the famous crossing of the Delaware River. In today's video, we will be learning about this event and what made it so famous throughout American history books. Before we begin, please consider subscribing, liking, and hitting that notification bell for more historical content. Now, let's get started. The Continental forces crossed to attack a garrison of Hessian troops at Trenton, who were allied with the British. At this point in the war, the odds weren't in favor of the Patriots. France had not yet become an ally for America, so the Continental Army was essentially a bunch of farmers with guns going to war with the most powerful naval force in the world. To have any chance of winning, Washington knew he needed to boost Patriot morale. Boosting morale would not only give current soldiers more hope while fighting and a reason to stick with the cause, but it would also encourage others to enlist. Washington planned this attack to do just this. He was hoping for a quick, easy victory at Trenton to give the Patriots more hope. What he got, however, wasn't so easy. Washington's original plan included three crossings, one led by Colonel Cadwallader with his force of 1,200 Philadelphia militia and 600 Continentals. The next was led by General James Ewing with his 800 Pennsylvania militia. Then, finally, General Washington with his 2,400 soldiers. The plan was for the three forces to reach Trenton by dawn and attack. Given that the Hessian forces had about 1,400 men, this should have been an easy win for the Continental Army. However, Colonel Cadwallader's and General Ewing's forces were unable to make the journey. Washington's troops made it, but were delayed by three hours. To add to the Patriots' misfortune, a British spy had already told the British of Washington's plan. The information was given to Colonel Johann Rall at Trenton, so the Hessians were made aware of the plan. Fortunately, though, Rall ignored the intelligence. This was most likely due to multiple false warnings of other plans of attack that proved to be untrue. These false alarms, coupled with a misguided sense of confidence, led to Rall stating, Let them come. Why defenses? We will go at them with the bayonet. By the time Washington's forces reached their launch point, the light rain that the night started with had turned heavy. By the time 11 o'clock hit that evening, Washington's army was getting snow and sleet burned mercilessly at them. With his forces three hours behind schedule, Washington contemplated giving up. However, he ultimately decided against this, later stating, As I was certain there was no making a retreat without being discovered and harassed on repassing the river, I determined to push on at all events. It was fortunate that Washington pushed on. The Patriots ultimately ended up winning, only losing two soldiers. The Hessians, on the other hand, lost 22 men, had 83 wounded, and had almost 900 captured. This wasn't a particularly bloody attack, but it was successful in Washington's goal of boosting morale. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in more bite-sized historical content, Please consider watching more of my short history series where I cover historical topics in 5 minutes or less. Please also consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays!